today's video is all about the Hobie Mirage Outback 2021 model. I have just picked this up in the last two weeks and seeing as though we haven't had much fishing this weekend, or the past week, I have decided to do a review, pretty much straight out of the box review on the new kayak. So first things first, as you can see, She's a little bit smaller than the Seek Mako battleship that I had, the 3.9 meter. So this guy's only 12 foot and nine inches. So it's a little bit smaller than the Seek Mako, but boys, it's a lot more stable than, than the Seek. It has maximum capacity of 125 kilo or 275 pounds. It's got ample storage. It's 34 inches wide across. What I also wanted to say as well, the hull weight is only 38 kilos, so it's a lot lighter than my previous kayak. I'll give you a quick rundown and then I'll go into some details of what the kayak has, what you get with it, and why it's such an absolutely brilliant kayak. All right guys, so up first, and I'll show you the ample storage, the accessories, all the bits and pieces that you get with it and what you can use. So if we start at the back here, it's got a fairly decent handle on the back here. Good for transportation when you when I'm putting it up on the roof of the car and stuff. This is the rudder system. These four little black dots. Now this kayak is power pole ready. So what this means is I can go and buy a Hobie power pole. So I can mount the power pole to the back of this kayak. All I gotta do is take these four plugs out and then I can mount it to the inserts that we'll put in during production. All right, guys, so underneath the kayak, we've got the kick up rudder. So if I run into something and the rudder gets stuck, it's gonna kick up, not affect the rudder in any way, shape or form. Once I get over that snag, bang, rudder comes back down and I've got full steering capabilities again. Now, the steering for the rudder on the 2021 Outback is on both sides of the kayak. When the rudder's down, you have full steering capabilities. So that way I can steer from either side of the kayak, depending on what hand I've got the beer in or the fishing rod. Now, the rudder control is here. Once I pull that, lock it into place with these alligator teeth, come back down to the steering capability, it's locked into place, you can't steer. And when you get to the back, the rudder's locked up nice and tight. So when you launch and retrieve, you're not dragging the rudder across the ground. All right, so the next part, this is the back storage. Now, this back storage area is absolutely massive. I have a Waco ice box that fits into this little cavity absolutely perfectly. Still leaves me enough space at the front of the esky to put bits and pieces in that I need to put. And I've got a little bit of space at the back as well. And all it is, just goes underneath all the Oki straps. The Oki straps are fully adjustable. These guys here, I can take them out if I want to take them out. Tighten them to where I want to tighten them. And Bob's your uncle, they're done. All right, you got two H tracks at the back. As you can see, I've already mounted a rail blazer rod mount. To one of the tracks now you got another bungee cord here ample storage if i don't have the esky on this side and this side now if i've got a tackle tray i'll put the tackle tray in here these guys here come out and they latch onto the bungee cord there and then if i capsize the tackle trays aren't going anywhere Moving along, so we've got these little wells on either side. Now, these are absolutely genius. So if I've got, if I'm changing lures or if I've got some lures sitting around or some tackle sitting around that I don't know where to put, you put it into here. Water runs out through this little gap. I was out at Lauriston Reservoir last week. Um, unfortunately, didn't catch any fish. 
apart from one little redfin. Now, I had about six or seven lures in this part here. Yes, if you capsize, you're gonna lose those lures, but this kayak is so stable, it's not funny. Um, I have no issues standing up in this kayak. Two carry handles, if you wanted to carry it. I haven't tried lifting it over my head yet. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to, as it is only, as it is only 38 kilos. Moving along, two cup holders, molded cup holders on either side. Absolutely brilliant. Then we get to the fun part. Now, we've got four H tracks at the front. Obviously, you got two at the back. As you can see, I've already mounted some Railblazer rod holders to these tracks. And as the same as the back, they've got these guys as well. They lock into there. If I've got a tackle tray sitting in there, that's not going anywhere. And both of them, all they are, they just slide into the tracks and done like that. We've also got lanyards on either side, two lanyards on either side. You can attach pretty much anything you want to them with clips. When I was out at Lauriston Reservoir, all I had attached was my rod leashes. So if the rods went over, they were attached to the kayak. In the middle, we have the front hatch and the EVA pads to your so you can stand on. Now, the center hatch is watertight. Open that up. It's fairly good in there. This is the center storage. Fairly decent sized storage tub. And it gives you direct access to the inside of the hull. The inside of this hull has foam blocks um, attached and they're in there from the factory. They're in there for positive buoyancy. Do not remove them in any circumstances. One thing I did want to point out is on the back of the hatch. So on the back of the hatch here, this part here, this is a bottle opener. So when you're out enjoying a quiet stubby, you need a bottle opener. Bang, there's your bottle opener right there. As you can see, we've got storage here. Your rubber mesh, your rubber mesh storage pockets on either side. Towards the front here, you've got two molded rod holders and you've also got two at the back, which is on this side and one outside as well. As we get towards the front, you've got your front hatch. This gives you direct access to the hull. The inside of this hatch is ample storage for anything you want. I usually keep a dry bag in here and I also keep my raincoat and rain pants if I need them just in case. Um, I do have a trip planned where, because I'm gonna be able to get my swag on the back of the kayak, I'm gonna drive up to probably Nagambi or something like that, maybe fish the Golden River. What I'm planning on doing is, because I'm gonna be able to take the swag with me, I'm just gonna park somewhere Maybe park at the caravan park or something like that. Launch the kayak, take the swag with me, use the front hatch to store everything I need. And then that'll do me for the night. I'll paddle 10, 15 Ks down river and then camp overnight, paddle back the next day. I'm actually looking forward to doing a few of these trips now that I've got storage to put the swag on the back of the kayak. With the front hatch, you can get a bucket similar to the white bucket that was in the middle um, and that just fits in there but it is pretty small once that hatch is closed it is fairly watertight i haven't had any issues yet when i was at lauriston reservoir conditions were a little bit rougher than expected and heading back into the waves didn't have any water going there whatsoever all right guys so the Outback 2021 model is powered by the Mirage Drive 180. Now, what that means is it's got forward and reverse on the drive itself. 
So if you get into a tight situation, pull the reverse and you can reverse out of the, the situation you're in. Now, one of the advantages to the Mirage Drive 180 and the 2021 model Outback is it comes with kick-up fin technology. This is the main reason why I purchased this kayak. So what that means is if I'm, I'm paddling along up a creek and I come across a snag, I don't see it, the fins hit it. And the way the fins are, they're both gonna lock up like that. They're gonna kick up underneath the kayak. I'm gonna paddle over that snag. Once I paddle back over, give it a quick kick of the fins and she's locked back into place and I can resume pedaling and off I go. This is gonna save you a fortune. Um, I know a couple of mates of mine have had damaged fins and you run into a snag and you don't have the kick up fin technology, you're gonna bend that main rod. Bending that main rod costs a fortune to fix. All right guys, so up next, we've got the Vantage seat from Hobie. So what it is, you got some locking, not locking nuts so to speak, but the way you put it on to the crossbar is it locks into place. So you lean it forward, lock it in, and sit it back. There's your seat, ready to go. Now, what I want to point out is this little attachment here at the bottom. You pull this out, you can lower your seat down to there. You want to raise that seat back up, simple as lifting it back up like that this little thing here is the kickstand now what this kickstand does is you pull that it drops the ass end of your kayak seat down and if you wanted to sit really low in the kayak you can sit fairly low like that I won't though I like to sit nice and high so I will put that back up. Now, what the kickstand does, once I lift this back up, there's two little feet at the bottom on either side. So it's completely flat. Completely flat now. If I lift them up just a little bit, I can sit that high off the hull. If I bring it up all the way, these kickstands come up and they sit on this little part quite nicely. Now, once you put this seat in and before you paddle out, make sure you attach it to that strap. So what that strap does, if you capsize, you're not gonna lose your seat. All right, so another feature on this seat, this guy here is your tensioner. So you can have it there. If you pull that, that keeps your seat nice and tensioned to wherever you want it for your backrest. So your back support is wherever you want it, nice and tight. You want to, you want to sit so that your seat's open like that? I sit probably about there. One of the other features to these seats is this little knob here. This is a lumbar support. So when I turn this, this tightens, this tightens the lower lumbar area of the seat. So that's going to make the seat nice and comfortable. Been out twice so far since I've had it. And can I just say, it is an absolute gem of a kayak. I can't fault it yet, haven't had any issues with it. I can stand up in it, I can sight cast a fish that I can see. Hope you enjoyed this quick review um, as always don't forget to subscribe to the channel please leave a like on the bottom of this video and until next time guys see you on the water